How's it going guys? My name is Josh and welcome to another episode of GITV. On this episode, we're going to be covering a really cool pistol and if you're anything like me and you spent a ton of time in your childhood playing Cowboys and Indians, this is probably the revolver you had in your mind when you were playing. This is the Elite Force Smoke Wagon. Now the first thing about the smoke wagon that I have to just stop and give some appreciation for is the overall build quality. This thing is very, very pretty. Uh, they did a great job on the uh, the plating, the grips, the just the fit and feel. The weight of it is very nice. Uh, and overall, Elite Force has just done a bang up job with the externals on this product. So let's move from the back to the front and we'll cover the features on this pistol as we go. Uh, now the one of the cool things about this is this is a CO2 design. I have definitely been a big fan of CO2 pistols more in the years to come. And one of the cool things about this is because it is a revolver and there is no blowback action, you're gonna get a ton of shots. And by ton of shots, I mean somewhere in the realm of 100 to 150 plus CO2 shots uh, before you need to refill that canister. And one of the cool features about the Smoke Wagon's design is actually the pistol grip. The way that they design this pistol grip, uh, the cover that comes off of this actually houses your tool to open your CO2 area. I think that's a really cool design and I wish more manufacturers would do stuff like this. Uh, having all of the tools inclusive on the gun means I don't gotta carry extra stuff. Uh, and it's definitely a welcome addition. As well, I do wanna make a mention that this door that actually houses the CO2 canister here is actually really solid and uh, definitely fits in there very, very nicely and secure. Some of the CO2 pistols, uh, especially revolvers in the past, have had some kind of flimsy doors and open up. Uh, this one is definitely very solid and I really like the way they designed this. One cool feature is Elite Force has added a safety to the bottom of this pistol, definitely making it a pretty unique addition for this era of revolvers. Now for all you Overwatch players out there, you might be a bit rejoiced to hear that you will need to pull the hammer back every time you pull the trigger. So that means you definitely gotta wanna spend some time practicing those fan the hammers to make sure you get those awesome CQB kills. Now because this is a revolver, you are only going to get six shots, but the action is very crisp. Uh, cycling through it is very nice. Uh, and one cool feature I really like is Elite Force uh, went through the addition to make these actual shells metal. Uh, so they have a bit of heft to them, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, adding a BB to the back is very simplistic. And uh, I gotta say, there's just something really fun about loading and cycling through a revolver. I don't get a chance to use revolvers very often, and this one just feels really fun to do. I spent a ton of time at my desk messing around with this thing, and it is just too too much fun. Uh, one cool addition uh, in order to get those shells out if you are struggling with it, uh, actually on the bottom here, there's actually a guide rod built in. Simply pull this up and pop it to the back and you can easily swap out those shells if you are struggling with it a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to get them to fall out. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the Elite Force Smoke Wagon. Now the price point on this is going to be $124.99. Additionally, the gun does fire at 335 feet per second, making it perfect for those CQB situations. Now, Elite Force told us that this gun should be dropping sometime in January, but we're gonna have the pre-orders up on our website so you can go ahead and get this pre-ordered if it's something that you know you're gonna wanna have. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this review. My name is Josh, and if you have any questions about this product, please let us know in the comments below, and I will try to do my best to answer all those for you.